Hello? Who is this? Death? Oh, love. Okay. <laughs> I was scared for a minute there. <laughs> that is what reading Elizabeth Barrett Browning feels like to me. <laughs> Welcome to the love sonnet of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I have to say these sonnets are nothing like what I imagined they would be. Um, I have actually come to find them quite disturbing um, and every step in these sonnets towards love feels like a step towards death, towards a discovery of um, her own disgust with herself. Every step towards this lover, this rich man with the gold and purple heart um, is one step closer to discovering how worthless this woman feels about herself. Um, and I am going to have to say, this is by far the worst love poetry I've ever re read. <laughs> I don't even know if I've read a lot of love poetry. I don't even know if I really like, have you ever thought about it? Like, do you, do you understand what love is? Like, do you recognize love when you read it, when you see it? Um, I can't even for sure say that with confidence that I know every time when something is real love. Um, but I can say with confidence that as I walk through this, this poetry, that... Um, I've never before felt a woman so poor, um, that I've never before felt a woman so sad. I've never before felt a woman with such a sad view of herself. And I find myself wondering, like, is she, is this true? Is she really, is it possible to be this sad? Is it possible to be this poor? And it makes me wonder, like, did she know that she was this sad and this poor before she started to fall in love with this man who felt like a prince to her? This man whose heart felt like it was full of gold and purple. Um, it's like, yeah, every step towards him feels like just a discovery of her own um, sort of this pathetic, sad nothingness um, and a discovery of his beauty, his glory, his greatness, his incredible love that he has to give. Um, and it makes me like, if this is love, if this is the road to marriage, like who in the world would want to do this? I'm like, why would this woman walk down this road um, to go, like, how could it be worth it to feel all these feelings about yourself in the presence of another person? Like the amount of like shame and I don't know that I can feel in her in her words is just incredible um but I found a poem a sonnet it is sonnet number hold on <laughs> I'm not good at Roman numerals so let's just give me a second we'll see I know the little okay so we got then 12 13 14, 15. Okay, so I believe this is sonnet number 15. It's on page number 30 in the sonnets from the Portuguese and other love poems. <laughs> um, and I felt like 
this poem for me sort of let me see why anyone would why anyone this poor would even think of um walking down a road towards loving someone um that rich and who um for whatever reason constantly made her aware of her poverty um this i feel like was um sort of that answer to why someone would do that and it says and yet because thou overcomest so because thou art more noble and like a king thou canst prevail against my fears and fling thy purple around me till my heart shall grow too close against thine heart hint forth to know how it shook when alone why conquering may prove as lordly and complete a thing in lifting upwards as in a crushing low and as a vanquished soldier yields his sword to one who lifts him from the bloody earth even so beloved i at last record here ends my strife if thou invite me forth, I rise above abasement at the word. Make thy love larger to enlarge my worth. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so here we go again. If you, I just, I just... <laughs> If you have this book of poetry, if you have an opportunity to look through this book of poetry, look through these sonnets and poem by poem, notice the way she speaks about him and notice the way she speaks about herself. Notice the awe, the worship, adoration, love, um, praise, um, that she just like lavishes on him and then look at the just the awful way that she sits in herself in this like low sad dusty um ugh, place um but to me like this poem for me is sort of like this little moment for her where she's like, okay, um, well, maybe if you, like, you are so amazing and you have so much love and all this purple in your heart and this gold in your heart, um, you're so noble. You're like a king. Um, I know you're strong enough to prevail against my fears. If you just come and wrap me in your purple. Um, there is something about that sentence that makes me want to cry. Because it's like, for me, I can feel her... Um, there's something about that line that makes me think of like, so imagine sitting, imagine everyone can see your poverty. Everyone can see how sad you are. Everyone thinks you're pathetic and pitiful or whatever. Um, and then here comes this man who's as noble as a king and who's strong and he he's so strong he can even prevail against all the stuff that you've got going on and if you can prevail against my fully my fears and fling thy purple around me like I can almost feel 
this moment for Elizabeth Barrett Browning when she suddenly doesn't feel shame anymore. Like, like, can you imagine having that much shame with yourself and that much disgust with yourself and that much, um, nothingness, like literally feeling like nothingness and then someone coming along and wrapping their purple around you until your heart shall grow so close against thine heart henceforth to know how it shook when alone that you won't even remember what it was like when you were alone like that um like i guess for me like i can feel how that would feel like relief like how that would feel like oh finally like I can breathe for a minute I can love myself for a minute because you've wrapped me in your purple <sighs> why conquering may prove as lordly and complete a thing and lifting upward as in a crushing low, and as a vanquished soldier yields his sword to one who lifts him from the bloody earth. Even so, beloved, I at last record, here ends my strife. Um, you can feel like this feeling of like this bloody war in her, like coming to an end or something. She said, if thou invite me forth, I rise above abasement at the word. Make thy love larger to enlarge my worth. Um, that last sentence to me, make thy love larger to enlarge my worth. Um, it feels like she sees this person as somebody with a love so large and the ability to like grow their love larger that like if that if he just wraps his purple around her like she can go from being nothing she can go from being worthless not valuable discarded thrown away trash um to being valuable, to being precious, to being loved, to being somebody from nothing to something, nobody to somebody, trash to a precious, like, jewel, you know, like, you can just feel that. Um, And it just makes me wonder, I'm like, what? Um, I just wonder what Robert Browning thought when he read these, like, um, I just wonder what kind of man he was. I guess I don't know that much about him. So I'm imagining like what it would be like to read someone worship you and then just like totally put down everything about themselves and what they have to give and just sit in like the dust of their own poverty while they worship you basically. And then say, if you can just wrap your purple around me, um, like I'll be valuable. <laughs> I don't know. And I can imagine for some reason, I can imagine some man um, at this moment, like, I feel like all the other poetry would feel, to me, feels almost nauseating. Like, it feels, like, it actually makes my body feel physically, like, sick. Like, I can literally feel, like, like my body feels sick when I read her other poetry. Um, but at this poem, for some reason, I can almost imagine someone being like, oh, 
I can, I can do that for you. Like, um, yeah, like I can, like I have, I do have enough purple for you <laughs> and just being like, okay, like be somebody with me. Let me wrap you in my purple and together we'll be somebody. Like I can see, um, someone, um, like it could, there's some part of a person that could feel like generous and like a hero and, um, like, yes, I am that noble. I can do that for you. Um, but, um, me my thought is in this world okay that is quite noble that is quite nice um but I guess for me it makes me wonder like things happen all the time like in marriage all the time um what if some woman comes along who, who actually does have love, who does love herself and she comes along and in a weak spot in this person's marriage catches this man's eye. Um, what happens, what would happen to Elizabeth Barrett Browning if he, after having all these years, she wears the purple. He gives her that purple. Like, can he take it away? And what would happen? What would happen to a person who underneath is dust? Who considers themselves dust? Not, I mean, only fit to be trampled on. Thy soul has snatched mine up, all faint and weak, and placed it by thee on a golden throne. I I guess there's just part of me, like, if that is who she is, if that is how she feels about her life, about herself, um, if she really is that poor on the inside, if this man ever for whatever reason I mean even if he just died like in that purple cloak slips to the floor if that purple cloak is is gone if he removes it like what happens psychologically to a person who goes from nothing to everything back to nothing again like, can a person, can a person's spirit actually handle that roller coaster? Can a person's spirit survive that? Um, so for me, like, I, when I read this poem, like, I'm like, I can feel the relief of that purple his purple being wrapped around her and her not having shame anymore like feeling loved and um rich and not like dust you know and but there's also a part of me that knows that life is not a fairy tale and that that purple wrapping that purple um if it can be flung around her it can be pulled off of her um and for me that sort of terrifies me in this poem um so what do you think um I would love to hear people who have explored these poems more than me um do you think this is real? Is this love? Um, is this real love? Um, 
or is it just a strange kind of love? Is it just the love between a poor person and a rich person? Is this what happens when a rich person falls in love with a poor person? Um, but I'm also curious about Elizabeth Barrett Browning's, like, um, her actual, the state of herself. Like, I feel like I've read that she was, um, at some point, I believe maybe she becomes an invalid, um, I'm not sure, um, like that she had delicate health, um, maybe growing up with her father was a little bit not so easy. Um, I think maybe her mom died when she was young. Um, I don't know. So I guess I would be curious to hear your thoughts on her life and what it was that you think was about her. What was it about her that was really that, um, this sad and this poor um was it was it real was this really did she have the correct view of herself um but um i will see you again next time um i have another poem i want to explore another sonnet um that i think shows another side to this um that makes it a little hard to breathe. So um, I hope you'll join me again with that poem. Thanks.